Well, hi everybody. A lot of people already know me, but I think my YouTube name is going to be It's My Time to Shine. Um, what I've been practicing basically since I was like nine, even though my mom didn't like it, I was always into Ouija boards, um, tarot cards. I have great insight. Um, about a lot of things. I see things that others can't see. When I was little, they used to be calling me crazy a little bit. But as I grew older, it really wasn't called crazy. It's basically called that everybody have an intuition. Everybody has a special gift. Some know how to tune into that gift. Some doesn't. Me, I was always in tune. I used to get in trouble for telling the truth all the time. Um, and things like that. But lately what I've been doing, and I have um, a mentor that's online with me that basically got millions of views. She's been helping me learn tarot. But the way she's been helping me learn tarot basically is she wanted me to start off, which was the hardest way to do it, was with basic cards. Like poker cards such as these, you know, like this, you know that um, I always liked the candles but I wasn't allowed to have them at my mom's house because they always was afraid of fire. Me, candles is a sense of basically taking away all the evil and you could talk to the universe, whatever, the universe, God, whatever it may be, whatever you pray to and it clears the air and all the negative energy and it takes it away before you start because you don't want evil to come and get into your cards, you know, and switch things around. So lately I've been doing tarot, I've been reading myself. That's how I started, and it had been like weird, it been scary because I've been reading myself and everything been folding just is the same if I'm paying someone to tell me. So I've been talking to somebody and they was like, because you, all, you have the gift, you've been had the gift, now you're trying to use your gift and you're going to have to entune yourself and block out all negative energy and start you basically a YouTube channel. Start off low, start with $5 or we'll start with them free, do whatever you want to do so you can get better at it. So my sad thing always about the tarot when I used to, you know, get my readings or do somebody else's um, is the death card. I came to realize that the death card doesn't always necessarily mean death, but it can. So you got to have your options open and really understand tarot because if you don't, it will have you going crazy. And I'm one to tell you I used to go crazy. But now I understand what it means. Like chariot with the two cats on the side, lions perhaps, is basically movement. Um... I'm not really good with the reverse tarot, but I definitely know the bad ones, such as the devil, the judgment, the justice, um, things like that. I got in tune with that real quickly. But far as the regular tarot readings, I've been doing great with them. So I'm going to be doing tarot readings in the next month. I'm a Capricorn sun rising. Um, and everybody know Capricorns. We about that chip. We are out that money. We are goats. We are, sorry, excuse my language, for the ones that don't deal with profanity. We are the shit. Um, most of us work our asses off. We're good friends, but you, you cross us. The devil is our card. It doesn't necessarily mean we be the devil, but if you fuck with us, we will turn your life upside down, okay? So... I know what I am, and in life, people used to be like, God, you got the devil tarot card? You crazy, girl. Da, 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 da. No, I'm not crazy. I'm crazy when you cross me. I'm crazy when you keep crossing me. I'm, a, I'm the goodest person and the best friend of a whole world if I need to be. But in my life, I learned that you got to pull back. So what I've been doing is doing tarot on myself, um, which lately my reading's been extraordinary I'm I'm really honest um I am not married right now 
but my tarot card telling me I'm a step away, which I kind of got an idea what's going on because I read myself. I try to stay from reading myself because I just do. So I read my daughter, I read my son. A lot of people don't like tarot card. They call it evil. Evil is is not tarot. Not to me. And um, I've been in different religions. I was in Islam. I was a Baptist. I read up on Jehovah. I've been looking into Buddhism lately. Like, I, I'm really a person that I like to explore. I don't take what somebody say and say, oh, I don't like that. No, I explore first. I'm a person that like to be a solitude at all times. A lot of people take that as I'm weird or I be acting funny. I'm neither. I like to be left alone and I like to be alone. That's just what I am. And um, it's sometimes that people irk me or, they, or people got something negative to say. Um, me personally, once I get into tarot readings, I'm going to be really, really, really into more of the spiritual, more different candles, more different incense. Um, I'm going to be live um, for a monthly reading because weekly is not going to work for me because of my schedule. So I'm going to do monthlies, and I'm only start off with Capricorn. It's going to be my first. I'm going to do one sign out of each sun. Basically, like, okay, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, we all have some similarities, but we're not the same. Believe that. Um, so I might say I'm going to do one Virgo, then I might go and do something that's in the Gemini card. If you understand what I mean. If you understand tarot, you'll understand. And when I get into it, I will be able to show you what I mean. Right now, I'm still learning. And hopefully, it will be a lot of people on my channel. I really would appreciate it. Um, I am going to accept donations. Because I'm starting out so, so new. I want to make sure I know everything first. And basically, I do. Because... That's all I deal with in all my life is tarot. Like, I really have. Um, I stopped for 10 years, um, but I'm back to it because it gives you a peace of mind. And it's not about knowing what's going to happen to you prior and all of that. It's not really about that. It's just seeing, you know, what could happen. It's for entertainment purposes only. And I will always have to say that so I don't get sued because that's what you have to do. If it's not for you, go to another channel. I know some great ones. Like Karmatic One, she helped me find my daughter when she was missing. She's a great one. She's experienced. So if I'm not good enough for you, I'm going to refer you to some good ones. That's just how I'm going to do. I'm not going to sit and make up stuff. I might have a little error here and there. And I'm going to tell you, like, I don't get this one, my cats or my Taurus or my Sag. Like, I don't know. I'm going to keep it real. I'm not going to sit there and just keep talking and making up stuff along the way because that's not terror. You have to learn. So, for right now in my life, I'm going to be blessing my house more, blessing my steps outside. I'm going to be staying focused on what I have to do in my life. Um, I just opened two businesses right now, and basically I'm trying to find buildings. I'm trying to get extra funding. I just incorporated um, one of my businesses. So right now, you know, I'm focusing on myself, um, focusing on my career, and I just want to stay attuned with the universe and my angel guides because I've been through some things and they brought me out of it. I'm not going to get into that because that's personal, but whatever you pray to, keep it up and keep staying positive no matter what because I made it through some storms and I'm here to tell you that there are angels there are there are other people on this world in this world besides us anybody that thinks not is just not on my level and we couldn't even come together is a friend or is a soulmate um there are lots of flames twin flames but I just realized it's only one soulmate. So if you were the twin flame and you thinking that that's who you want to marry, the angels in the universe might show you something different because it has been showing me something that I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to deal with the situation. So I hope everybody have a great day. Um, me, I'm going to have a great one. And... 
when I'm up and running, I will be letting everybody know and putting my video out there. And um, we're going to see where the universe takes me and guide me to. And I'm only going to speak what I'm getting told. I'm not going to speak what I'm reading. I'm not going to speak off of another tarot reading. I'm only going to go within. So I want you to understand that. Only what's in, within from the universe that I'm going to speak. If I don't know, I'm going to tell you like, I don't know. Let's move on. So I'm hoping that you all will be patient with me and understand. And I hope when the time comes, I'll be able to hit a million within a year. Um, bless you. Love, blesses, and light. Amen.